By Honorable the Organizing Committee and all audience, good afternoon. I am Raden Ahmad Hadian Adi Permana from LPMP Banten and now is a student of Gerudi School Indonesia University of Education. Today I would like to present our research paper entitled The Profile of Science Teachers' Competence in Learning Practices Using Technological Devices. First, the introduction. Teacher performance is one of the main aspects of learning that can determine student learning outcomes. Conducting training and certification program for teachers are to improve teacher performance. Development of training programs to improve teacher performance should be based on relevant assessment results. In Indonesia, teacher competency test has been carried out to measure and map the pedagogical and professional competence of teacher. The test results are then used as the basis for developing teacher competency improvement programs. Performance evaluation or assessment is an assessment of the acquisition and application of knowledge, skill, and attitude, which are demonstrated by the ability in the processes and product produced. It's referred to margin like all. A good quality assessment will improve the quality of programs developed based on the assessment. This research measures the teacher knowledge as part of authentic content and practical knowledge about learning using technological devices. The result of this research can be the basis for follow-up in the form of capacity building tailored to teaching needs. Method. The purpose of this research is to obtain the picture of science teachers' knowledge in the application of learning using technological devices. This quantitative research applies a descriptive analytic method of the data in the form of test results. It reveals the result of the test from 100 junior high school science teachers in Banten province who voluntarily participated in this research. The test results in the form of scores were statistically tested to determine empirical validity, reliability, and the level of and the level of difficulty using SPSS 20 software. The score that met the validity criteria were then analyzed descriptively. The test instrument used was an, a 10-item essay test in the form of case studies. The problem in the question are about learning assisted with or using technological devices. The questions were then arranged and distributed through online media a Google form to the research subject or participant. The scoring rubric instrument is polytomy in nature and the scores range from zero to two according to the level of complexity of the expected answer. Aspects that become problem in the instrument are the application of learning methods, learning media, learning resource, assessment, and student learning outcomes. Results of instrument test analysis. Based on the statistic, statistical test, all question in this research instrument can be used and analyzed further because the result of the correlational test, the person product moment coefficient value, met all the criteria of validity. More than 0.19 SR table. Based on the kronbach alpha coefficient value of 0.7, it means that the research instrument has high reliability. The result of the level of difficulty test empirically vary in the criteria of difficult to moderate ranging from 0 to 0.7. The difficulty level of item 1 and 3 are the most difficult less than 2.0. Second, the result about description of test result analysis. In this research, the score categories are divided into four, four levels, namely level 1, 0 to 25, with the very poor category, level 2, 25.01 to 50, with the poor category, Level 3, 50.01 to 75 with the fair category, and level 4, 55.01 to 100 with the good category. The mean score of the subject is 29.9 is the poor category. 
The table also saw that the lowest score is zero, which belongs to the very poor category, and the highest is 80, which belongs to the good category. The data also illustrated that there are still many answers of the research, of the research subject that haven't reached the fair category, which is below 50.01. Based on the lowest score obtained, it appears that some test takers have haven't, haven't been able to answer the question correctly. The researcher only analyzed the data from the subject who answered most of the question and eliminated thus that left most of the question unanswered. These results are related to knowledge and experience of the research subjects, especially regarding pedagogy and the use of technological devices as part of PCK or TPEG. According to Putra et al., high and stable PCK influence teachers' teaching method integratively because this skill influences the selection of important content delivered to students, the depth of the content, the reason for choose, choosing learning procedures, and other aspects. Thus, when the mean score of 10 is low, it can imply that the problem-solving problem skill of the teacher have been supported by the PCK or TPEC they have. Teachers will not be able to answer the question or problems in learning if their knowledge is still lacking. The function of the essay question at the thinking state of a test are recalling factual, conceptual, or procedural knowledge mentally compiling the knowledge, interpreting the knowledge processes, and contrasting it into logical, clear, and precise language, but according to Rios and Wine. Good answer means that the subject has the relevant knowledge, can process his knowledge according to the problem, and can pour his thinking into written answer. If the answer does not match the expectation or key answer based on the concept, the problem can occur because the subject doesn't have relevant knowledge or the ability to process the knowledge in accordance with the question, or the subject has weakness in constructing the answer logically and clearly. Based on the result of assessment, this purpose has been achieved quantitatively and qualitatively, because in addition to being statistically calculated, the answer to the most difficult question have also been analyzed qualitatively. The question given in this research contain problems that need to be resolved by the subject. The instrument used doesn't fully measure problem-solving problem skills, but teachers who have this skill are more likely to answer the question given well. Knowledge of the teacher certainly needs to be trained to solve a contextual problem in learning. Answer so from participants indicate that the most research subjects haven't been able to provide appropriate solution. The weaknesses in problem solving, according to Watson, can occur at the stage of recognizing and identifying problems using available information, lack of understanding of related theories or concepts, and not being able to formulate appropriate solutions as alternatives. Referred to Watson, the answer to the essay question includes richer data as a test result. The answer in the form of description the description describes the level of understanding of the test takers can reduce the variation of answer guesses and do not provide incorrect information. They can answer the question because they are more accustomed to multiply to, to multiple choice question. Because in multiple choice question, there are always answers that can be chosen and the test taker do not need to construct good sentences. So there are still many who obtain low scores because they cannot make clear and logical sentences. The sentences made are description of the knowledge and language skill of the subject. Conclusion. The knowledge of the subject in the application of learning using technological devices is still low. Main score of the research subject is of the poor category. The score of most research Subject, 90% are still under the passing grade. The most difficult problems to be answered are the question about learning methods and student learning outcomes. We want to thank to all junior high school science teachers who have volunteered in this research 
and acknowledgement for stakeholders in the Department of Education in Banten Province and the LPMP Banten. Thank you and stay healthy. Good afternoon.